Welcome to the Vinyl Score. Record Store Day is back with two drops this summer, coming June 12th and July 17th. I don't know about you, but I really enjoyed the multi-day approach they took last year. It was easier on the crowds, it was easier on my wallet, and it really cut down on the worst part of all, being anxious about finding that one record that you really want. I just found the whole thing easier to manage. But like every year, the list of releases is really long. So I'm gonna drill down on the list and pull out all the soundtracks and highlight a few that are coming out. I might not catch them all, so let me know if I missed any and drop a comment. Let me know what you're gonna be looking for for Record Store Day. As I go through the list, also remember that releases vary by location. It could be that some things aren't available depending on where you live. Also, some releases get delayed or are even canceled. If you do see or hear about a release that you really want, be sure to tell your local record store as soon as possible. And remember, all of these releases are allocated all across the nation and the globe, which can make some of these really hard to come by. So don't be too hard on your local record store if they can't get something in. It's a hard game to play and it's even harder to please everybody. But Record Store Day does a great job of shining a light on your brick and mortar record stores. So remember, be nice, don't scalp, and have fun. Okay, let's take a look and see what Record Store Day has to offer the soundtrack fan. Drop One kicks off with a John Carpenter soundtrack. First up is Village of the Damned by John Carpenter and Dave Davies. This is on Verez Saraband and limited to 2,000 copies. One of the big releases is Harold and Maude. This has come out before on vinyl in a very limited run, and there's going to be 8,000 of this release, which is a lot in Record Store Day numbers. Most of the time, you see things released anywhere from 500 to 2,000. Hopefully this means that if you really want this soundtrack, you'll be able to find it. Also released is the soundtrack to Shrek, with music by Harry Gregson Williams and John Powell. There's only 2,000 of these, and they come on Shrek-colored vinyl. Coming out for the first time on vinyl is the soundtrack to People Under the Stairs by Don Peak. Don Peak was a member of the legendary studio group The Wrecking Crew. This comes to us from the record label TerrorVision, with only 2,000 copies. Here we have a new reissue of the soundtrack to The Goonies by Dave Grusin. This is a picture disc. There's going to be 3,000 copies of these. And to be honest, picture discs don't do much to excite me. But it looks like a really nice piece. Also available is a soundtrack from Netflix, The Umbrella Academy Season 2. Above the Rim is a Death Row classic, being reissued for the first time since the 90s. There's 2,500 of these on color vinyl. It's the 20th anniversary of Tomb Raider, with 2,000 copies being pressed on golden metallic triangle vinyl. There's also going to be a tribute to the Repo Man soundtrack, featuring music from Black Francis, Matthew Sweet, Mike Watt, and more. This is going to come on a glow-in-the-dark vinyl, which is a pretty good tie-in for the movie. There's also going to be a triple gatefold release of the Matrix soundtrack, featuring all three of the original soundtracks. It'll be pressed on a green, glitter-infused vinyl, which I'm a little worried about. It could be that that's going to affect the audio quality. I know that these were all released individually last year as well. Now I'm going to pull out a few highlights too from the list from the UK. Looking at the list for Canada, United States, and the United Kingdom, there was a lot of overlap. So for the most part, it looks like these will be released there, but the quantities per country may vary. But here's a few highlights from the UK that look like they're going to be exclusives. First up from the UK is a 7-inch by Goblin. This looks to be like alternate cuts or outtakes. There's only 500 of these and they're going to be on colored vinyl. There's also a 7-inch single for James Bond. This comes in a foil lock sleeve. I don't know what that is, but I'd love to check that out. This comes to us from Silva Screen Records. Finally, we have a 7-inch single for Citizen Kane. This has Rosebud etched on the B-side and is a numbered release. I'm really interested to check this out as I think it will have the main theme song on it. This is pretty high on my list. Drop 2 kicks off with another John Carpenter soundtrack. Ghost of Mars is another John Carpenter soundtrack that's being released, and I have to admit, I haven't seen this one. This also comes from Verez Saraband, limited to 2,000 copies on red-colored vinyl. I can always use a little more aliens in my life. And the Red Sarah Band is going to deliver a 35th anniversary edition of James Horner's score to Aliens. There's only going to be 2,500 of these. They're going to be pressed on acid blood green-yellow vinyl. These are modeled after the original release and not the Mondo versions. 
I know this much is true is probably the lowest quantitied record I'd seen so far. Only 750 copies of these. This will be a Record Store Day exclusive first release with music by Harold Budd. The Iron Giant is an incredibly popular film and I'm sure this soundtrack will be well received. It has music by Michael Kamen and is being released by Varez Saraband. There's only 2200 copies of this picture disc being released. The Blue Blood Bandit by Ennio Morricone. This one I am very excited for. I'm a big Western fan, and I always like to grab anything by Ennio Morricone as well. This is being pressed by Verve Records. There's only 1,800 of them, and fittingly, they'll be on blue vinyl. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind is being released with 2,500 copies on colored vinyl. This has music composed by John Bryan, but also has tracks from artists like Beck and ELO. I think this one could be pretty high on some people's want lists. Finally, the Wes Anderson film Life Aquatic gets a soundtrack release. 3,500 of these on blue vinyl with music by Mark Mothersbaugh, Sue George, Stooges, and more. Anytime we get more Wes Anderson soundtracks released on vinyl, I'm happy. With the release of Life Aquatic, I'm really hoping this also means that the Royal Tenenbaum soundtrack is going to be released for the first time on vinyl. That's a great soundtrack, and I'd really like to see that happen. Hopefully, it's on schedule for Black Friday this year. Ocean's Eleven comes out on vinyl as well for the first time. 1,800 of these are being pressed on what they're calling a roulette wheel colored vinyl with red and black. For drop two in the UK comes a soundtrack I'm very excited for, and that is The Keep by Tangerine Dream. If you've seen my review of Thief, you know I'm a new fan of Tangerine Dream and a big fan of Michael Mann. Well, this is both of them teaming together again. Unfortunately, the movie was butchered by the studio and we'll never have a good copy of that. But the soundtrack was released for the first time on CD just a few years ago. There have been a few bootlegs of it on vinyl, but none of them have been cut from the original tapes. This looks to be a 2LP release taken from the original master Master tapes. So, overall, my top soundtrack picks for Record Store Day this year are Harold and Maude by Cat Stevens, Life Aquatic Soundtrack, The Blue Blood Bandit by Ennio Morcone, Aliens by James Horner, Citizen Kane 7 Inch, and The Keep by Tangerine Dream. But tell me, what are you looking for? Are any of those soundtracks jumping out at you? Let me know in the comments what you'll be looking for. Hopefully, I'm able to track them all down. No matter what, I know I'll have a great Record Store Day. See you in the bins. Thanks for watching the Vinyl Score. If you like what you saw, you can like and subscribe for more. You can also find us on Instagram and Twitter.